All right, we are continuing animating between the assets and the stage. So I have my creature here. This was the last frame that I saved, the last movement, introducing my creature with the mouth open. Now I've got those assets to play with. I'm setting up my next frame in my assets file here. And whenever you're in doubt, make a duplicate. And I'm going to use Edit Puppet Warp just to change the position of this. So if you want a little bit more movement from something that's a PNG element already cut out, you can make use of Puppet Warp. I can even, if I hinge at the jaw, I think I should be able to open and close the mouth a little bit. It just depends on the character design. This is, yeah, I made that a little too much. <laughs> Other things you can do, this is what Terry Gilliam would do of Monty Python, is you can just cut the asset and transform it. Right, just right in its place and even distort it. Just like we did when we did, um, our creature scape. I'm going to move the head to about there. And let's make it a little bit bigger. So I want this to feel like kind of a jump. I'm going to rotate it. So basically, whatever you need to do to set up your next frame. Okay, there, then I gotta move the rest of the body to match. So I'm just doing this really roughly because it's GIF animation. It's all gonna go by in a fraction of a second. And if I wanna puppet warp it, I can. You can also puppet warp on a selection. Doesn't need to fill the layer. Stretch it out. Punch that back. If I need to, I can even use a little bit of clone stamping to fix issues I might have. little gaps I need to fill. And then I can always use my sharpen tool. I kind of like this color that happened, but let's get rid of it. So this is where the compositing comes through. All that knowledge of how to manipulate your layers comes in here. And I want them to be more and more in focus for this big moment. Okay, so Command O, I can get it centered on screen. Command O, I can get it centered on screen. So it goes from this now to this. The mosquito has moved. My creature is hopped up. So if I want to copy this now onto my stage, have it be part of my animation, step one, if you're writing the steps down that we're going to repeat over and over, go to your top most visible layer the one where the eyeball is turned on. Hold down option. So click option, hold it. While holding it, go to layer, merge visible. I don't try to do this with the shortcut. The shortcut is shift command E. So that would be option shift command E. That's a lot. So I just hold down option and then click on merge visible. That makes a non-destructive merged copy of everything that's turned on. It's there. If I turn it on and off, you're not going to see a difference, right? Because it's all in one layer. But that allows me to now select all, which is Command A. Edit copy, which is Command C. Then I move to my stage because that frame all merged together is now copied onto the clipboard. 
and I do edit paste, command V. And I have my next animation frame. So that if I run a test, and we don't need this yet until you have nine frames or so, make frames from layers, select them all, set the timing. I use a standard timing of 0.3 seconds. And then we play it. I can see how those frames are working out, right? And if the timing's what I want, if I need to add something in between, And I'm just getting to this point still, right? So sometimes it takes a lot of frames. It takes it took me nine frames to get up to my fourth keyframe. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I have to delete, or not delete, I need to trash my frames in the timeline before I add more. Because we want this transformation to happen. And I haven't done any transformation yet. I've just done a movement test. When I go back to my assets, I still have that combined layer selected. So first I have to deselect it with Command D. And then I can hit Delete so that I can set up my next layer, my next frame. So my next frame is going to be with the mouth closed. So the mosquito's gone. Turn off my mosquito layer. Right. But I need a duplicate of my creature. And I can move him up and out of the mosquito layer now. But still behind the rock. And now I have to show that it's closed. So I had a question about an impact blast. If you really want to add oomph to something, you can composite something in, or you could just draw it yourself. I haven't really drawn anything for this yet. I've done a lot of dodging and burning. So let me move my creature. So how am I going to do that? I'll do it with Puppet Warp. And because he's flying, I can really kind of move him. I'm going to arch that back a lot. And then his jaw. Here, stick that up. Now I'm going to close his jaw. So instead of trying to do that with warp, I'm going to do that with some internal compositing. Just grab it like this. All right, and then transform it right in place with warp. And just move it closed. Maybe take the whole thing, warp it a little bit, look a little cooler, and then push it further out. So from this to this, Command O if I want to get everything sized the same way. Yeah, I like how his feet kind of hop up. Now notice something. Because I had his wings cropped in this one, when I did the puppet warp on it, it cut my wings off right there. So this is why we always keep a hero element for when we lose too much. Now I can take a copy of that hero element, which I have marked green, and I can transform it and what's even better than all my puppet warping and my changing for having the mouth closed on the mosquito would be to actually use the creature in full frame like so. But put him behind the rocks. And then maybe play with rasterizing and maybe just darkening him a little bit. But that's the big moment, right, when he snaps. So maybe I'll stretch it. 
warp him down a little bit. And then let's play with his levels and just darken him a little bit. Limit the highlights. Maybe take his opacity down. There we go. Okay. So how can I add impact to that? The mosquito is now gone, but I want to make sure it's clear that he snapped shut on it. So I'm going to use just my good old painter brush. I downloaded these new brushes I like. This is a, a half-tone dot brush. I'm going to make little impacts like that. Push them underneath the jaw, maybe even on top of the jaw. There we go. So from there to there, crunch. All right, so how do I copy that over? Go to my top most visible layer, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. This is what we went over. Command A, Command C, Command V to paste it in. Now this is a good time to animation test because that was a big jump, but I think it's going to work. So make frames from layers. Select them all, set their timing, 0.3. You don't need to do an animation test each time, but at these big moments it's helpful. And then play it through. Yeah. Okay, now what happens? My creature needs to kind of settle down. And then he starts to transform. That's actually going to be the transformation. But before I can add any more frames, I need to select all of these, drag them to the trash in the timeline, and then I can save it. Next. Deselect. Delete that combined layer. Duplicate my creature. Now edit Puppet Warp. What's going to happen now? Now he's going to start to settle down. So let's start pivoting him. Let's move his wing down. Move this wing a little bit with his head. So from, the, from my last frame to this frame. I can even have the, the kind of lingering glow, but then maybe I add a few more. So I use my brush. So I'm just going to hit it lightly. Few more times. Maybe make that an even lower opacity. It's like what happens when you eat Tinkerbell. Okay, I think I want to play a little bit with the talons. So, Puppet Warp. Lock these and now play with. I'm going to have the talon kind of reaching down to touch down. And puppet warp. This is why animators in traditional animation, when they're hand drawing, they use onion skid and tracing paper so they can always flip back and forth from what they had done before. We're doing it here with the stage and with our assets. Okay, so if this is my next frame, go to my top most visible layer, hold down Option, say Layer Merge Visible, Command A to select all, Command C to copy all, Com go to my stage, Command V to paste it in. Then Command D to deselect, delete to delete it. We move on to the next layer, duplicate my creature, turn it off. He's going to settle down. Maybe over here. So he needs to kind of keep his momentum going forward. 
and I'm going to puppet warp 